Okay students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the baseball player A hits the ball baseball at VA 40 feet per second and theta A equals to 60 degree from the horizontal when the ball is directly overhead of player B. This is player B. When the ball is on the head of this player B, he begins to run under it. Determine the constant speed at which the player B must run and the distance D in order to make the catch at the same elevation at which the ball was hit. So we need to find the velocity of this player B with which he need to run in order to catch this ball at the same elevation at that point C. And we need to find this distance D from this location from 15 feet ahead. So first of all, uh, let's define our coordinate system. So let's say that this is the positive x direction. Let's say this is my, let's say this is our positive x and this is our positive y direction. So the initial position of the ball is the origin. We can say that the initial coordinates of the ball are 0, 0. And at point C, uh, in the problem statement, it said that he needs to catch the ball at the same elevation. So at point C, the ball needs to be here somewhere. So the final coordinates of the ball must be uh, 15 plus D in the X. That is 15 plus D in the X. And in the Y, the since this ball will be and the, at the same elevation, so it will lie on the x-axis. So if it is lying on the x-axis, the y-coordinate will be equals to 0. So the final coordinates of the ball is 15 plus d, comma, 0. Now, if we apply the uh, horizontal motion equation, that is the kinematic equation for the horizontal motion, so we can say that uh, this is our positive horizontal direction. So we will write that x, x is the final coordinate. This is x and this is y. So x is the final x coordinate minus the initial x coordinate. These are x naught and y naught. This will be equal to Vax into t and plus 1 divided by 2ax into t square. But since uh, for the projectile motion, the horizontal component of the velocity always remain constant so the acceleration in the horizontal direction is always equals to zero so this term is always equal to zero while considering the projectile motion now vax is uh, va cos of 60 degree into t if we resolve this va into its component so this will be our vax and this will be our vay so this one is the cos component this one is the sine component so vay is uh, uh, va sine of theta a uh, we can say that theta a is given 60 and v a is given right so x minus x naught now the x is this is our x the final x coordinate is 15 plus d so we will write 15 plus d minus the initial x coordinate which is 0 so that is 15 plus d minus 0 and now v a is given which is 40 feet per second cos of 60 into t so this is 15 plus d and 40 cos of 60 is 20, so this is into 20 t. We are required to find d, so d is 20 t minus 15. So let's say this is equation one. Now if we apply the kinematic equation for the vertical motion, and this is our positive y direction. So again, we can write that y, the final y coordinate minus the initial y coordinate, this will be equal to v a y into t plus 1 divided by 2 a y into t square and as we can see that uh, the velocity is decreasing in the positive y direction so if the velocity is decreasing in the positive y direction the uh, projectile is deaccelerating in the positive y direction so this means that a y is we can say that a y is equal to minus 32.2 feet per second square and since the player B catches the ball at the same elevation, so the 
final y coordinate and the initial y coordinate are zero so we can say that zero minus zero uh, this is equal to v a y so v a y is 40 sine of 60 into t and this will be plus 1 divided by 2 into 32.2 and this will be minus right since it is g accelerating into t square so this is 0 and 40 sine of 60 this gives us um, uh, let's let's write it like this this is 40 sine of 60 into t minus 32.2 divided by 2 is 16.1 into t square now this is we can write this equation is 40 sine of 60 minus 16.1 t into t now t now either this t is equal to 0 or this term is equal to 0 so t cannot be equal to 0 so we can say that uh, uh, 40 sine of 60 minus 16.1 into t is equal to 0 or we can say that minus 16.1 into t is equal to minus 40 sine of 60 or we can say that t is equal to minus 40 sine of 60 divided by minus 16.1 so now t is uh, minus 40 sine of 60 divided by minus 16.1 so this gives us t equals to 2.152 seconds so from point a to b the baseball will take 2.152 seconds so once we know this t we can put we can plug in this t value uh, in this equation one that will give us that horizontal distance that player b needs to travel from from its initial position that is from point b so d is equal to 20 into t which is 2.152 minus 15 so 20 into 2.152 minus 15 so this is approximately equals to 28 feet so from his initial position when the ball is over his head the player b needs to travel 28 feet in order to catch the ball at the same elevation and in the problem statement we are we are asked to determine the constant speed at which the player b must run so as we know that the projectile now velocity in the horizontal direction always remains constant so the velocity of player b needs to be equal to the horizontal component of the velocity of the ball so the horizontal component of the velocity of the ball is v a x and which is equal to v a cos of theta a and v a is 40 cos of 60 so from this we can say that the player need to run with a velocity of 20 feet per second so the player needs to run uh, with a velocity of 20 feet per second in order to catch the ball at the same elevation at which uh, it was hit and he need to travel uh, 28 feet from its initial position so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibler dynamics